What you're about to see is footage recovered from a digital camera found in 2004 from the remains of the Renkowski household in New Garbageport, Pennsylvania. My name's Lefty Renkowski. I work at the dumpster factory. This is my beautiful Camaro Z28. I put wheels from the Z06 on the back. Gotta keep that back end in check, know what I'm saying? And cut. I could, have, I could afford a Corvette if I wanted to, but I'm just keeping it real. As long as I could turn off traction control and do burnouts, life's all right. GM keys, teeth go down, just like downward dog. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I have to break character just for a minute here. This is the next giveaway car. Win this 2001 fourth generation Catfish Camaro with the LS1 engine and a six speed manual. Click the link in the description, whynotyougear.com, buy a mug, digital download, and get entered to win this new and old school muscle car. Once again, click the link in the description, go to whynotyougear.com and buy a mug or digital download and someone's gonna win this. Okay, back to the found footage. This is where I'm living. It's a sweet setup. What do you wanna do? Yo, no one's looking, right? She drives better every time I fill her up. Shane in Minersville. They're new. Can you believe that? You know, the guy where I'm living, you know, like he's got so many tools, he's not gonna notice one's missing. I can get like 30 bucks for a wall. When I drive my Camaro Z28, I never take my hand off the gear shifter. Ever. You don't know how to drive a stick, don't you? This is why you, you never do this. You always do this. Always. And I'm pretty sure, like, the way you drive a stick is to never stay in one gear for too long. It really, really impresses people. Every time I drive, it's just constant. What is this, third? Yeah, third and fourth. And then back to third. And down to fourth. And back to third. Check this out. I double, I double, I double shift, I double clutched it. Then down the third, and back to fourth. Look at the third. Hell yeah, that was a good one. Back, back down the fourth. My name's Lefty Rinkow. What's my last name? 
Time to warm up those vocal cords and get ready to sing from the Wesley Willis songbook because hostility is back on the menu. The Chevy Camaro is a muscle car powered by sour grapes. A car designed to compete with the Mustang hastily slapped together to make up for the fact that Chevy didn't have anything in their roster that could challenge it directly, except maybe the Nova 2 Supersport. Because you see, the rise of the Camaro is tied up in what is known as disruptive innovation. Here we go again. Vocabulary words. Disruptive innovation. <laughs> this is what happens when the industry leader of whatever product we're talking about is threatened by a competitor. Suddenly, you just can't sit back and take your sweet time rolling out new products and features. You have to get to work. I'm not going to say that the first-gen Mustang was some sort of revolutionary innovation. It wasn't. It was just a Ford Falcon that looked better. But it did put Chevrolet on the back foot because they were rushing to catch up. Heck, the whole industry was rushing to catch up with the muscle car, or the invention of it, rather, the pony car. Chevy realized they couldn't take any more time coming up with a sporty, attractive, and affordable option since the Corvair wasn't going to cut it, even when they threw a turbocharger on that thing. Of course, the Camaro couldn't be exactly what the Mustang was, but the Camaro still had to have the best longevity of any Mustang competitor because it was punishingly simplistic. It's here to make noise and throw itself around corners and straights with desperate urgency, like a city guy spotting open parking. The Camaro, the first gen, was a hit when it first came out, and it stuck around, even while being under constant threat of irrelevancy. Even now, the Hellcat is getting more headlines for going back into the Disney vault, despite the news that the Camaro itself will be following right behind it in 2024. And yeah, the Camaro probably will be back eventually. Chevy already killed the Camaro once. This, the Catfish model, and it's never officially called the Catfish model. It's just because the front of the headlights and everything is kind of looks like a fish. The Camaro died a year or two after this model. But this time, now in the 2020s, I I'm guessing the Camaro will come back as an EV that looks nothing like a traditional Camaro because that's the play now. Slap a legacy name on an SUV and just people will settle for it. Like rebound sausage after a breakup. It won't be a traditional Camaro, but what is a traditional Camaro anyway? The catfish looks nothing like an OG Camaro. The fourth gen Camaro, was released for the 1998 model year with an all-aluminum 5.7-liter LS1 V8. It is Jesus. It's a design that screams Van Halen is now considered classic rock and I'm mad about it. This version of the LS1 V8 with cathedral ports makes 310 horsepower at 5,200 RPM and 340 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM and fuel economy that's Surprisingly low bust for 18 miles per gallon city, 26 miles per gallon highway. I don't think there has ever been a time when the Camaro was the best in its class, and even this one was on a lower tier than the Firebird of its time, and that's classic GM competing against itself. But it's about as fast as anything you could get for this price in 2001. Hell, it's a, it was a great deal. Z28 had an MSRP of $21,875, which is just under $37,000 in 2023. A front-engine V8 rear-wheel drive with a six-speed for $37,000? Great! In 2001, the Catfish Camaro Z28 was the most amount of numbers you could get for the least amount of numbers. And look at this shape. Look at it. It's like it's permanently in a wind tunnel. It's like a knife edge in the wind. At the same time, this is a pile of GM plastic inside. Blindfold me and tell me to feel around the interior and I won't know if I'm in a Camaro or a 3500 Express van. Look at my Forerunner from the same era. It was boxy. It's an unaerodynamic, tone-deaf joke. And that was when the third gen was new. But the Catfish Camaro was futuristic and hopeful. And, and aerodynamic. And that's what everybody was saying in 2001. That was the catchphrase, aerodynamic. Aerodynamic just meant sustainable back in 2001. Buy this CD-ROM for your kids. It's educational and interactive. 
But unlike every sweatshop programming company trying to make algebra fun, it combined this shape with an old school muscle car design and it worked. 26 miles per gallon highway. Keep it in six gear and 28 is possible from a 5.7 liter LS. At 50 miles an hour, the engine is turning like a thousand RPM. My old Subaru struggled to get 30 miles per gallon with a 2.5 liter four cylinder. Granted, that was all wheel drive and the gearing was aggressive from factory, so the wagon could accelerate with a modicum of swiftness, but you, you get my point. Damn, I love how this looks. I like looking at catfish Camaros more than I like driving them. Oh, you know why? Because it's all smooth and bubbly, just like my former Toyota Sarah. You know what we're doing here? We're watching a modern car become a classic car before our eyes. In a few years, Matchbox 20 will be classic rock. Oh my God. But you can't build a car this sleek anymore. The nose of this car will take out pedestrian kneecaps. It has no rollover protection. These T-tops are flimsy. The doors, while long and heavy, have poor side impact protection. And the rear is all glass. The traction control does, uh, something. But then you put your foot down and we're an American band by Grand Funk Railroad starts blasting out of the back of the car. Because this is an old car. Longitudinal V8, six-speed transmission in the middle, Rear end. A 45 pound plate is more complicated than this. That has to be balanced. This doesn't. But the fourth gen Camaro combines the future aesthetically with the past. A big V8 with a Pentium powered silicon graphics aero package. It still looks like it's from the future, but it's an old car underneath. You see the dichotomy here? We've been through this before. A Lamborghini Countach looks awesome. It's crap to drive. Ferrari 308, oh, that is beautiful. And it's crap to drive. A DeLorean, awesome, I remember this car sucks. My old Nissan Pal, oh, isn't this, why can't I drive up a hill? Oh, Catfish Camaro, this is so sleek. Why does it sound like a grocery bag filled with Legos? But does that stop it from being awesome? No. But like those other 80s relics, this 04 rich bar of soap is trying to express something. We're gonna move forward. The future is gonna be amazing. We can cut through time. We can make cars even slicker, lower, longer. This isn't a geo prism. This is a muscle car saying, I'm not done. I'm ready to evolve. I will show you where excitement and, and road fun is gonna go. I'm a catfish Camaro and I'm embracing whatever technology is coming into our open mouth. I'm meeting the future with two middle fingers and a hard dick. Remember when? No, forget remember when. We're not looking to the past. Yes, that's what this period of like early 2000s was for GM. This is right before they went back and playing the old hits. This is before, this is Billy Joel's not just going out, playing the songs you want to know. He's still innovating. This is glass houses. In the 20 teens, all muscle cars were going, remember when, remember the good old days? Let's make new cars look like old cars. So I'm drawing a bridge right here between 04 Rich and the modern EV crossover. We will look to new designs. You may not like them, but we're gonna throw anything at the wall and see what sticks. But we've already been here because that's what this car represents. It looks a little weird, but we've gotta try something. Let's keep artistic integrity alive. This is a car for dirt bags, and this rear view has gotten me all fired up about an, art an artist trying to look to the future through car design. I'm ready to grab this mic stand. Do you not see what we're talking about here? How important this car is? The last days of artistic integrity before people started looking to the past for 20 years. So buy a mug for for Christ! Somebody gets this car. Link in the description. Why not you gear.com? Mug, digital download. Someone's but someone's getting a catfish Camaro. I need more coffee now.